everyone! In this video, I will be showing you how to merge several images together to create a composite using layer masks in Photoshop. Let's get started! I've decided to do only basic editing to my frames in Lightroom. I've applied my raw edit preset and made minor adjustments to the exposure on one frame and copy and pasted those exact settings to the additional frames I'll be using in my final composite. I've exported my images in the original RAW format from Lightroom and opened them in Photoshop. Once my composite is made, I will run my image back through Lightroom or do my creative editing in Photoshop for a more seamless composite. This is my hero image. It's the image that I will be adding all of my other frames to to create a full composite. Each image that I've opened in Photoshop has become a tab at the top of my menu. You can rearrange the tabs at the top of your frame by simply dragging them left or right. To add one frame to another frame, click on the background layer and hold down. Also hold down the shift key. Drag the background layer to the other frame that you would like to add it to. Once that frame pops up on your screen, then drag that frame and hold it over that image. Then you can let go. These images were shot on a tripod. By holding down the shift key, I can make sure that the frame I've added to my background layer is going to line up with the layer below it. Now I'm going to create my first layer mask. While holding the option key, I'm going to select the layer mask button down here on the bottom. I hold down the option key to fill my layer mask with black. That allows me to see to the layer underneath it. Anywhere I paint on this layer mask in white will show the layer on top. I'm going to use B to select my paintbrush tool and set my opacity at 100. I will make sure that my hardness is set to zero. I can use my left and right bracket to adjust the size of my paintbrush. Making sure that I have white selected over here by hitting D for default, I can paint where I would like to add the dog to my bottom layer. Both of my layers should line up really nicely when I mask them together. I can zoom in using Command Plus and hold down the space bar to move my image around just to make sure there aren't any noticeable areas around the dog from the bottom layer. Once I'm satisfied, I'll move on to the next addition to add to my composite. Once I've added a frame to my composite, I can close it out of Photoshop. I don't need to save the changes because no changes were made to that file. Now I'll select the next image to add to my composite. Using the same method as before, I'm going to hold down the shift key, click on the background layer, and add it to my hero image. Once that image shows up, I'll drag it on top of the image and let go. Now you can see my next layer has been added to the top of my layers. Holding down the option key, I'm going to create another layer mask. You can see now that my composite is being built underneath it. Now I'm going to use my brush tool to paint in the next dog making sure to include the shadow. It's important to stay as close to whatever it is that you're compositing into the image as possible. If you paint too far outside of whatever it is you're adding to your composite, all you have to do is switch your color from white to black. Now you can paint that part of your image back out. Now I'm going to use the same method to add the rest of the dogs to my composite. If you would like to adjust the position of a layer, use V to select the Move tool. Once you can see your arrow as your cursor, just click on that layer and move it where you would like it to go.
You can flip an image by going to Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontal. Be sure to paint as close to your subject as possible to avoid hazing like this. I find it easiest to paint the entire subject in and then invert my paintbrush to black to remove the excess border. Hit X on your keyboard as the shortcut to switch from your background color to your foreground color and vice versa. Once your composite is done, save it as a full-size PSD and also as a full-size JPEG. Once you've composited all of your frames together, you can continue to edit your image in Photoshop for a more creative edit or export it as a large JPEG and run it through Lightroom to apply a creative edit there. Just be sure to save a PSD that has all of your layers.